Welcome back to my channel, LR Retro. Now, we will review the last chapter of Grappler Baki, the Warrior's Struggle Arc. It's the chapter where the great Retsu Kaio meets the strongest and the fastest boxer alive. Do you think the champion Bolt is really strong as a boxer? Let's find out. But first, please know that you can buy the new Grappler Baki Volume Collections, Baki the Grappler Season 1 and 2 DVDs, and Bandai's Grappler Baki figurine on the link on the description below. By buying, you can help the channel grow and release more Baki videos. Please subscribe and let's begin. The chapter starts inside the Takigawa mansion. Kuriyagawa is saying. He is being questioned by the police as we speak. Arachi Dapo then said. It would have been better if I didn't use it. Even if it wasn't wrong of me, using it on him. If it was at all possible. I would have liked to have kept that technique sealed away. In the sport known as karate, a skill such as that should not find its place among the other skills. If someone you love is under attack by unjust violence. If you are in a situation where you have no way out and you are in fear of your life. And war. If it's not any of these cases, then there would be no excuse to use it. To live a life without using it. That would truly be best. But then, why this time? I will tell you. There was no real reason to do it. We now move on inside the boxing arena. Muhammad Ali is saying. From here on out. It's a real death match. Retsu then thinks. And now, I will make sure that the rest of Mr. Joe's energy will be blown out like a candle in the wind. Here is my chance. My fists are telling me. Here as well. This too. It's close. The end. However, the mighty smoking Joe managed to land a devastating right hook. The spectators then commented. Look at that. Joe isn't dead yet. Retsu then quickly thinks. Danger. Jump. Unfortunately, Smoking Joe managed to anticipate his move. He hit him in mid-air. Hurting the great Kaio really badly. Then he followed up with a strong uppercut. Retsu is thinking. What do you call this? What do you call this kind of mental strength? Even if the flesh on his body were to receive deep lasting damage. It would not matter. All of a sudden, Retsu jumps and kicked the rope, allowing himself to move at an extremely fast speed, then punching the mighty smoking Joe in the head. However, even after that strong punch, Joe Crazier still managed to throw an uppercut. This is smoking Joe. That's true. That man. He is smoking Joe after all. Retsu then thinks. It's time for me to stop. If this goes any further, I won't be able to use all that I have. It's time to show my most prized possession. If I want to go any further in this fight, I will have to use it. I will have to use a secret skill. Right here. Now. I take off the seal. Forward. Even if it's a little. Humans. All have the same nerve system that you can hit with a single fist aimed at the right spot. There are more than a few key points. And when hit correctly, you can either paralyze the person, or you can kill them if used incorrectly. Joe. Wasn't able to answer that. Forward. Always going forward. He was stopped. It was like a dream. Surreal. There was nothing holding him up anymore. After the referee counted to six. He stopped the fight. His coach is really amazed shouting. Are you for real? You won. Even the legendary Muhammad Ali is surprised saying. Mysterious. Freaking awesome. You are freaking awesome. You really won the match, and in what a way. Then Joe Crazier confronted Retsu saying. It's been a long time. Since I saw my dad who died some time ago. We had a good conversation. And then, the match was over. It was a really good talk. And it was all thanks to you. Smoking Joe. He seems different. He should know how far he pushed me. It was thanks to him that I needed to use that skill. All of a sudden, an extremely strong man suddenly grabbed and pulled Retsu. And that man is the champion. It's Bolt. The champ is holding up Retsu's hand. And the crowd cheered for him. He then said. Just now. Where were you about to go? He is using this much power. I can't pull my arm down. This man. He is strong. I won't let you go that easily. 
The coach then thinks. Just how far is this dream going to take me? There is no way that the champ appearing here is some kind of coincidence. This man. He is the one. Who truly stands at the top of boxing. Wilbur Bolt. He looks huge. The data said he was 2 meters and 5 centimeters, but he looks bigger. He feels like a man made for mythology. 20 years old. He became famous as a representative for his country during the Olympics. On the fifth day of the tournament. He shocked the world. He broke his starter as he truly went into a rocket start. He was the first human being to reach the goal with that time. And after he reached the goal, he took a victory pose. It became the latest rage all around the world. After the competition. He once again shocked the world with news no one expected to see. The fastest man of the world, Mr. Bolt, has taken up boxing as his next challenge. The reaction of the world was rather cold. The fastest legs in the world were about to enter the ring where no one knew if they could work. Fists that no one ever saw in a fight were about to enter the ring. And then, he shocked the world a third time. Only a year after his debut in the ring. Everyone was sure. They were sure that this pace of going through fighters wasn't real. In the blink of an eye, he knocked out those who stood before him. And in just two years, he was able to get into a title match and win. And then once again, the world did it. They once again started mimicking his pose. The strength of the fastest legs on earth. And his arms seems to match his legs in both speed and precision. This man created a body able to do more than just run. He showed the world that his power was real. And after that, he was able to take three more belts. And he seemed to do all this without too much effort. He defied all sense of logic as he did what he did. But it was this truth that made him the champ that he is now. The strongest and the fastest. Could they truly be the same person? He was the one who realized this miracle. We now move on somewhere in Japan. Stridham is saying. The confrontation between you and Baki is drawing closer. Yujiro replied. It's not a confrontation. It's a father and son argument. He then remembered what Baki said. I want to have a father and son meal. Is that really such a weird thing? But my dad needs to agree. I wonder what he likes to eat. Ogre. Do you get what you are saying? What Baki wants. Is to have a meal with just you two. When you live on the battlefield, you don't get to eat as much. You are thinking about going? Father and child. I wonder which one of us would make a better meal. Ogre. Father and child. Alas, it isn't as simple a deal as that. This is a lot more complicated. Sometimes, what you two desire isn't the way it will go. But. You two are the strongest, and should your fight ever crystallize. And your words ring heavier than most. And if you really want it, it will happen. You. All of a sudden, Hanma Yujiro kicked Stridham's cigar. He then angrily said. Could it be? That you are trying to say in some sort of way that I have grown weak? No no, I would never dare. You are still ogre. Then we see Hanma Baki inside a supermarket. He is in deep thought thinking. Well then. What should I get? What do you think of this chapter? Do you think this father and son dinner will start their long-awaited fight? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to Stranger Dragons Prevail, Francois, The Real Zurvan, A Patreon of the Uts, Jacket, Johnny Might, JJF, OK, Vega Punk, Isom Harris, Awesome Swaceable, Trond Becker, Will, Thomas West, Casey, Dead Fox 0606, John Vinovich, Ahmed Zoyer, Joshua Ash, Aiden, Mars Kane, Claudio Aguilera, Francisco Carrillo, Jaden Robinson, Carlos Rios, Reiner Braun, Tarek Abujabur, and Brennan. We really appreciate your help. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe to my Patreon, LR Shion. I will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about Hanma Baki, confronting the great master Shibakawa Goki. Stay tuned.